it's time for another exciting interview. Today, I have the pleasure to talk to Fadina U, the current Senior Vice President of Application Innovation and Head of Sports and Entertainment of SAP. Welcome, Fadi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Could you describe a typical workday of yours, if there's such thing as a typical one? Yeah, this is uh, somehow a little difficult because uh, always uh, the days always change, especially now in this Corona time, because um, the whole uh, rhythm of uh, how it has been before has changed. But in general, I mean, what we've done in the sport entertainment, we, we said we want to build the software for the sport. And we, uh, we started actually in close uh, relationship with the club. We said we want to really, uh, we are the expert in software, but we need also the expert in sport. So, so we work very close with, uh, with our partner, with, uh, with our customer. When I prepared this interview, I came across the uh, SAP product Sports One, of course, and I was pretty impressed. Could you explain to the audience what this product is about, which functionalities it entails, etc.? Yeah, maybe let me um, first uh, mention what the, how is the sport world uh, work organized. There is actually like two pillars. One pillar all around the organization, around the stadium arena where you have all the business finance behind this payroll, uh, ticketing, uh, merchandising, online shops. So this is what we call like 360 degree view all around the fan, a small focus on the fan. And then uh, the second pillar, it's all around the player. So it's all around the, uh, the sports. And this is what we call the second uh, pillar. The second pillar, it's a sports one. We build uh, let's say uh, one system which include uh, all information around the player player fitness uh, uh, player uh, performance uh, uh, the game preparation uh, uh, of, of the opponent and all, all all around what the game i will also link some articles for guys to read about it with even more details because i was pretty baffled about the sophistication and how far like training management in digitization time already is, it's pretty interesting. Um, how close is the cooperation then with other soccer clubs, for example, when developing new software or new parts of the software or adjusting it? Are there weekly, monthly meetings or is someone from SAP constantly present at the soccer clubs, for example, during a testing phase for checking if data correctly transmitted or something like that? Yeah, but uh, when we started with us uh, with the sports one, I mean, we really uh, started uh, uh, from scratch. This was this also gave us the opportunity to build uh, sports one on the latest uh, platform. We started with uh, also Hana, uh, and we said, okay, it, it's important to be uh, very close to the customer, and we we did also in, in this, uh, work in design thinking mode. So we work with the customer, we get their feedback. So we are very close. Uh, I, will, I cannot say weekly or bi-weekly, but since we have several customer and we have also several uh, innovation customer that we start with, especially like for, for example, the German national team, we, it's one of our you know, innovation customer. We have FTB uh, Munich, we have uh, Hoffen, uh, Hoffenheim, and we also look also with um, other sports like ice hockey, who work with the Adler. So we are very close contact uh, with the customer. And we built first a proof of concept. Uh, this was our intention when the customer start using and we are in contact to, to other clubs. And based on their feedback, we adjust the software. So we, we built really software, very easy to use, intuitive, and uh, also that should, should come from the customer. And this is uh, actually the, the strategy works very well because the customer, they see, they see their own feedback they see as actually their work, it's done in a different way, which helps them. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned um, ice hockey. Uh, which differences between sports one for soccer and for ice hockey are there? Yeah, if it's if it's come like to the player fitness, player health, uh, it's uh, the difference is not big when it's come to injury. We also have, uh, for example, rugby. But like when we started with the rugby, we saw like, like in the, the, the soccer, when it's injured, then actually they are not allowed to play. But in rugby, uh, 
when we start working with them, they, they distinguish between injury, what the injury's level is, because they can also play. Uh, so this is where, where it comes, to the, depends on the sport. So you cannot now do everything like what you have in soccer, take it and copy this to other uh, sport types, especially also when it comes to the uh, game analysis. Uh, when you have now a, a game like now no opponent or when they're like uh, playing different strategy every sport has different uh, type for example in ice hockey the, the players switch very fast on ice on ice and off ice but in uh, in soccer they only allowed a limited uh, number of players to replace so this all ha you have to consider also when it uh, comes about the analysis like in uh, in soccer you, you analyze corner you analyze uh, uh, passes uh, or if you have like uh, attack two against one and who actually uh, help who assist with a goal and where the assist starts this is uh, which was from with, with which player uh, you follow up so this is also depends on the club on the club strategy how they set this and in ice hockey is completely different so when it's come to the game analysis, every sport, if it's basketball, uh, rugby, handball, uh, ice hockey, they have their own uh, own uh, strategy. It's, it's, it's completely different from other sports. Mm -hmm. But you just mentioned um, team sports, but adapting the software for individual sports would be too expensive, right? It's not a question of the expensive. I mean, this, uh, the sports one, as, uh, as I mentioned before, it's like it's like a youth lead. It has many different components. And mm -hmm. what we also focus on sports one, I don't know if you saw a picture because we have really the suite inside and we have also connected sports one to SAP analytics where you have all the reporting. You have also the, the, the player card, all the information around the player. But we work also with uh, with partner with uh, with other partner who deliver different devices because to record your uh, performance, uh, to, uh, like uh, watch or something else, or to to measure the performance with devices which SAP doesn't deliver because we focus on software. And when it's come to individual uh, software, uh, it's it's uh, you have also your own investment. And uh, and this is also make it complicated to maintain all this because uh, you have to do your performance, you have uh, to record uh, your to keep everything track. And this is what uh, sports one developed it's called developed more for team. And uh, the strength about sports one we didn't develop this only for one team because we have this from youth development. Till the professional. And actually, when we started with Sports One, we started first in the academy. Well, how do you really monitor the youth development? How do you identify talents? Mm -hmm. This is very important. This is why, why it's also, we say it's a, it's a Sports One, a 360 degree uh, view of the player, but you need to compare this in the team and compare to the other. And if you have like individual software, like I, I, I uh, do ski and you do ski, everybody has his, his own. You cannot compare with other players. This is a challenge. Okay. Um, is the software sport one common in other countries as well, or is there a focus on German clubs at the moment? No, we have we have around now um, 88 customers worldwide. We have in uh, Russia, in US, uh, in uh, South America, we have uh, in Europe, uh, and uh, in Germany. I mean, this is where we started in Germany. We have uh, almost uh, 80 or 90 percent of the first Bundesliga, uh, Bundesliga club, but we are also actually worldwide. That's pretty cool. Um, Sports One includes loads of objective data. Uh, with just to name an example, I read that there are sensors in soccer shoes that send 4,200 position data points in training per second to the database. But the mental or psychological part of sports is not included yet in parameters, right? Like, for example, that there are nodes, uh, for example, this or this competitor is does not really perform that well under pressure or uh, when it comes to their own team, he's a great leader or this one is great at motivating people, something like that? 
Actually, indeed, we, we also start looking at this when we started first to focus on a lot of data, map data. We work also with partner, for example, uh, who collect also the data. I don't want to mention the name of the partner, but we have integration with different partner. We have all the data and we can do the analysis directly in sports form. Um, but also we now we have a partner that focus on the, the psychological mental. And we add this also in sports one because we see it also. Uh, it's not only not only the physical part. You have also the psychological part, and also uh, we, we did like uh, what we call penalty insight to show them like when it's come to a penalty, uh, uh, how it's the, this psychological has impact if they are now in the leading and they have to do penalty or if they are really behind uh, or if it's, uh, it's in the second half uh, or if it's uh, in the extension, they, ha they have penalty. We, we listed all this information also it depends on the situation also in, on media. If there is some player now it's at, uh, has been attacked in the media, this has also impact. Of course, this is not something you cannot measure, but we enter such a data and it gives the club the opportunity to consider such information. And I think um, that makes totally sense because right, the clubs or the, the players are performing on such a high level physically and strategically so that the mentality can really make a difference in the end. So it's cool that you include that as well. Um, Spots One has many like benefits and advantages we, we heard right now. Um, are there any disadvantages as well that you can think of? I, to be honest, I don't think any about any disadvantage because uh, what we do with Spots One, we give the club the, uh, the possibility to have all this information uh, uh, much faster and in real time. And what we also do uh, for the club, like uh, for example, if the player injured, if he's now in reha, you can really, with the data, with the historical data, you have this in one central system, you can uh, review if he's back now to the same status what he was before, what is also compared to the other player. And this helps the development of the player. Also what we've done, uh, what, what we call like the feed, feedback, many clubs use it because uh, uh, then when the player has training, it depends on the training, sometimes that the coach uh, asks them how was the training Some players, they don't like to talk or they don't give the feedback in the group. And we have this in the app, they can give their feedback every day. Also, they can give the feedback in the morning after the step, how do you feel? So there is, of course, this depends on the club, but you have much better communication. And uh, what, what the player got, they don't use the sports one. I, I'm explaining like sports one, it's a new speed, but for the player, they have only one app. We make it so simple. They have only the app, and this is the app what they communicate. They don't have to use the, 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 the whole system. The system is done by the coach team. Uh, and assist, they, they look at the system and provide the data, and they do the analysis. For the player, um, opportunity, they, they have all this information, and also we, the data, it's more protected. So this is also very important. It's in the cloud, and it's also... Uh, Uh, the, the data are protected, and if the player now uh, leaves that club, he has the right to, to get to all of his data. Before that, there was many islands. The club, they had like one uh, software for fitness, one software for player analysis, one software for other things. So they had many islands. And now we have this in one system, all uh, connected, all in, in, the, in the SAP data center. Uh, protected and uh, this is more access for all, all players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think why I came up with this question was I read that, for example, um, we all remember this uh, play against Brazil in the uh, World Championships and I read that the uh, software did a wrong forecast, so to say. They were actually thinking, uh, it's, it's thought that uh, Germany would actually lose mm -hmm. against Brazil. So I thought maybe There are some points where it makes wrong forecasts or something like that, where you maybe rely on that or may, you get demotivated, for example, because you think, okay, it says I won't win. So maybe it does something psychological with you, for example, like this. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's more psychological. Let's, let's be honest, it's not only software. Software cannot uh, be uh, yeah. 
uh, it's it's important. And you know, like now, this um, the uh, if you look at all the player and all the different sport players, they are so professional. So actually, they are on the top level, the professional team, and they work only maybe on the two percent. This is makes sense. If it's a different shoes, if it's different clothes, they work really on this small percentage, where uh, where it can has an impact because they try. Uh, I mean everything, and <clears throat> the software it helps them. They have all the data, they have all the information to react faster. Also, when they when we what we built also what we call it the challenger inside for the player. Before that, they had to print everything on paper and to prepare themselves to the opponent. Now we build this for them in the software. They can have it on tablet. If they are in the locker room with a different uh, uh, stadium and they don't have Wi-Fi, this can offline. They can really study which who is my opponent and look at his strengths and weaknesses. This is only to refresh your mind. It's also psychological. Before I go, I go out and I also I look again, what is his strength, what is his weakness? Because they get this information. But I, you have to uh, keep uh, in mind, they get a lot of information. And this is now what the club, this what the German national team asked us to do is for the, uh, for the, uh, it was, I, I think, Europe uh, League, uh, uh, to, to give them such a tool so they can prepare, because sometimes it depends in which local room they don't have Wi-Fi, they don't have this information, also if another player comes. So this gives you actually additional uh, Strengths and also mental uh, strengths because you are already prepared when you when you work out. Then you know I know now who, what is his strengths, what is my, and I do refresh in the last minute before I, uh, the game starts, which will really help. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, are you involved in other software development programs for sports apart from Sports One? Yes, as I mentioned, we have the sport entertainment industry, so we have a different program. <clears throat> this is now the sports one all around the player, but we have, we build our own uh, customer checkout, what we call is actually for, for merchandising, and it's connected to S4HANA retail. Mm -hmm. and also uh, extend the solution for food and beverage. And now I am involved with the Expo. I don't know if you heard about the Expo 2020. It was opened now uh, <clears throat> beginning of uh, October. We are there because we have all Expo using our software for all pavilion because every country has own pavilion. They have own restaurant, own merchandising. They're all using as a SAP customer checkout who's also running as, as for HANA the back end for multi-tenant so we have uh, we have this for restaurant for, for merchandising but also i'm involved with this ticketing <coughs> with the sap event ticketing when you go to the stadium you buy a ticket and now with the corona we did like social distancing we did also uh, ticket activation so the ticket can be activated only if you can prove that you are vaccinated such as things depends on the customer need and what the customer wants so this, this is this is additional software what i have in my team but our software is all connected to sap we use as uh, as for hana as a back end uh, system also we use for reporting we connect them all for uh, analytics yeah integrated with sap analytics for reporting yeah that's a super broad field that's really cool um, we heard now in the news a lot that we have a lot to work on when it comes to digitization in Germany. <laughs> but how is doing is Germany doing in digitization of trainings or sports in general compared internationally? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> uh, every crisis has also benefit. So mm -hmm. Before the Corona, everybody was talking about digitization, but few they need digitization. And with the Corona, uh, the process was really uh, accelerated. And like uh, usual, we, we, we did every year, <clears throat> once a year, a uh, sport entertainment event where we met with the, all the club. And last year we did this uh, virtual event and we recorded all the session. And uh, this was also very helpful because we had this international customer, uh, the uh, North America, South, South America and uh, and uh, other Asia, Asia country and uh, Europe. 
And this was very helpful because uh, all our customers, we had much more attendees uh, in the virtual uh, uh, events than when we had the physical events. Yeah, cool. Uh, we all know that like augmented reality, virtual reality, artificial intelligence are all technologies of our future, respectively already uh, in the present. Where do you find them in the area of sports at the moment and which developments um, in sports of these three do you expect in the next 15 to 20 years, for example? Oh my God, I cannot think so far. <laughs> in the 15, 20, 15 years, is going to be too long. I mean, uh, <clears throat> we are now working with, uh, with the club because, as you mentioned before, forecasting uh, really uh, to uh, predict what are uh, the uh, opponent planning and uh, how they, they plan because when they, uh, every uh, coach has his own uh, strategy but uh, if you watch all the data all the historical data now this is what we are working with, uh, then to really forecast now with this team like they do different ap approach so this is what we are working on on and this is uh, this way we use also our uh, technology with HANA because we need a lot of data. We need to compare the data. You also you need to look at the coach strategy, not only with one team, but the coach also switch from team to team. And <clears throat> so you need to really to uh, follow all historical data, all the historical behavior. And this is where SAP and all the system make really a uh, uh, big uh, sense and help a lot because with this old data, you cannot like, just collect this manual and uh, make analysis. And with SAP, that's why we're focusing now at the uh, uh, SAP analytics, uh, planning, forecasting. Mm -hmm. Now I'm curious about something um, of you personally, like I read that you're not a sports enthusiast uh, personally. How are you still so thrilled and stoked and have the necessary know-how to come up with new ideas in the sports area? Yeah, this, uh, as, as I just mentioned before, we did the science thinking. We always keep doing the science thinking. We work very close with the club. And, and I am really, uh, we learn a lot from the club because they have also data scientists who work with data scientists who work with the university, uh, with students uh, to get an ideas. Uh, and uh, we discuss with them what, uh, what, uh, what could be done. And we, we start to work together with them on proof of concept. And sometimes, uh, to be honest, the proof of concept, we see it's complicated. And also, uh, also it's very cost, uh, high cost. Then we, we drop it and, uh, and we, we look at how it will. But uh, this will get the idea what it is actually in during the design thinking. With, with the customer, with data scientists, and with, uh, with my team. Cool. Yeah, I think we made it to the end. Thank you very much for this amazing interview. I personally learned a lot. And yeah, I really appreciate your time, Fadi. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I could help you. And uh, I wish you good luck. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.